I bought a new blood pressure machine at Walgreens and unlike my previous one this does not have a way to use an external power supply and these now use these small AAA batteries they do not last terribly long these rechargeable ones don't last too long either between charges so it's kind of a nuisance and Murphy's Law every time you take this on and off it's just one step closer to this breaking this is a wall power supply I had for the old blood pressure machine and I intend to use it for this one and this is distributed by the same company as this and the previous one this is 6 volt 1 amp the problem is this is not a standard size this is a standard size the one that was on the end of here is 0 0.04 0 0.05 millimeter oversize and I suspect that's a ploy by the manufacturer to make sure that you use their power supply in those blood pressure machines that are set up for it. I am not going to keep buying batteries to feed one of these. I cut the plug off of here, put one of these on there, and I have the matching piece here. Now on Thingiverse, I found these little fake batteries that were already designed to replace a AAA battery and it's an M3 button head bolt that I put in here soldered a wire to the connector and then I put a little piece of bamboo on this end and that goes inside that spring and that helps keep that in place on this end I just used the threads from an M3 bolt I cut the head off and screwed it in here and that will go inside the spring on this side With this wire coming up like this, it's thicker than what these feet will clear and this thing rocks around on the table. So I made a replacement cover and this fits in here. And it clears those feet. And I was just going to tape that in place. That was a little bit too thick. A little bit too big so I made this one and when I put a piece of tape on here to hold this in place it will hold that wire down as well and that will sit on the table and it no longer rocks around I could take this apart and solder the wire directly to the circuit board where this battery box connects. But then if this thing dies within the warranty period, I've altered the machine and that would void the warranty. So by doing this, taping that in place, and putting this somewhere where I know where it'll be if this dies my warranty is still good the link for this and Thingiverse will be in the description for this video and the link for these little battery pieces will also be in there if you're not familiar with electrical connections or how a battery box works in one of these gadgets the batteries are installed in alternating positions and the negative side always goes against the spring. So this end of the first battery goes to the circuit board and then this end is connected over to here. This is connected to this one and this one is connected to here. And this is a negative side. So we have the first battery connected in series through four batteries 
one and a half volts for each one, we have a total of six volts from here to here. So I have set this up so that the positive end is here and then my negative end comes over to this side. And when you wire one of these, you just have to pay attention to what you're doing. If you have a wall power supply that has a usable connector, the outside is minus and the inside pin is plus. And if you're wiring your own, like I did, you have to make sure that plus comes over here and connects to the positive point in the battery box or what would be the button end of a battery and minus comes over to where the flat side or the negative end of the battery is and that's it this is taped in place and hold that wire down this generally sits on the desk or on the table doesn't need to move around and does it work yes it does